Hi everyone, in this video I just want to show you how to calculate a growth rate. And I'm going to do it um, illustrating th with three different variables. First, we've got the price level for the United States in 2013 and 2014. And as my measure of the price level, I'm using the GDP deflator. So you think of this as the average price of goods and services produced um, in the United States um, relative to the price in some base year. And the base year is 2005, so for 2013 we're basically saying the average price of, a, of goods and services was about 13.4% higher in 2013 than 2005. And for 2014 we're saying it was about 15.4% higher. We've got nominal GDP, or we've got real GDP, which is Y, meaning um, about $13,295.8 billion worth of stuff was produced in 2013, and that rose to about $13,593.2 billion worth of stuff. The last row there is nominal GDP, right? So the difference again between real and nominal GDP is nominal GDP is the amount of economic activity calculated using prices from the current year, so 2013 for 2013 and 2014 for um, 2014. Whereas real GDP is the amount of stuff produced using prices from the base year, 2005, right? And so the reason why the numbers differ between real and nominal GDP is for real GDP we use prices in 2005 to um, add apples and oranges together. All right, so I just want to go ahead and calculate a growth rate. Um, so in general, the growth rate of any variable is just the ending value. So the T here is a time subscript. So um, for us, T is going to be 2014, because that's the last year of our growth rate calculation. And T minus 1 is going to be 2013, because that's 2014 minus 1, or the beginning period for a growth rate calculation. So what we have here is just the ending value divided by the beginning value, subtract off 1. And that will give us a growth rate like 0 0.02, which would mean 2%. So it's actually conventional for a lot of people to just go ahead and multiply this number by 100. I won't use an X there, that might be confusing. So I'll just use, um, oops, I'll just go ahead and use the parentheses. So a lot of people will just go ahead and multiply this number by 100, and that'll convert a value of 0 0.02, or a, you know, a growth rate of 0 0.02 to the value 2. Okay, it's just a convention. All right, so let's just go ahead and illustrate this for um, the price level. So the growth rate of the price level, or nominal, or excuse me, the um, implicit price deflator. Well, if that's the case, then I'm just going to go ahead and do some erasures. Right? So this is going to be the price level in 2014 divided by the price level in 2013. Subtract off 1, multiply by 100. Well, this is just one equation in 1, 2, 3 unknowns. If you know any three of the unknowns, you should be able to plug in and instantly solve. Or if you know any two of the unknowns, you should be able to plug in and instantly solve for the third. So that's what I'm going to do right here. I'm telling you the value of the um, price level in the end is 115.387. Telling you in the first year it's 113.359 minus 1 times 100. All right. And it turns out if you go through and you do all that, you're going to end up with 1.8, i.e. 1.8%. So the inflation rate between 2013 and 2014 was 1.8%, okay? Which is a pretty close to what the average inflation rate's been for the United States since uh, the mid-1980s. So inflation has been relatively stable in the U.S. during that time period at 1.8%. Sometimes it was a little bit lower, sometimes it kicked up a little bit higher, but 1.88% was a you know, pretty typical value for really getting close to almost the last 25 years or so. All right. And there's nothing more to that, to, or nothing more to the calculation than just going ahead and doing that. So let me actually erase this over here. 1.8%. All right. Now, if I was to go through and do exactly the same calculation for real GDP, instead of putting the price level, right, erase all this, all right, I would have the ending value of Y in 2014 divided by the beginning value of GDP in 2013. 
And when I go through and do my calculations, that's going to be 13,593.2 divided by 13,295.8. And if you go through and you do all the math, you should come up with 2.2%. Okay? So I'll put 2.2%. Now, as an exercise on your own, you can go ahead and do it for nominal GDP. And what you should find out is for nominal GDP, the growth rate is about 4.0%. Okay? Now, there might be some little differences due to rounding if you're doing this on a handheld calculator. I did the calculations in Excel, which does everything out to, I don't know how many decimal places they go. So... Um, but if you're off by a by a tenth of a percent or two, I wouldn't worry too much. It's probably just differences in rounding you use with your calculator. The other thing I wanted to point out is notice that this, the sum of the growth rate of the price level and the growth rate of real GDP is equal to the growth rate of nominal GDP. That's not an accident. It has to be that way. Now, why does it have to be that way? Well, let me go ahead... Um, I won't actually go through the nitty-gritty of the math, but I'll go ahead and um, tell you about it generally. So, um, apart from some rounding errors, the growth rate of the um, price level and the growth rate of real GDP should equal the growth rate of nominal GDP. Now, why is that? All right. You might recall that the real GDP is Y. Okay? You might also recall that um, to calculate real GDP, we simply go ahead... Well, let me do this. Real GDP is Y. In our calculations for real GDP, we had Y is equal to nominal GDP, period T, times the ratio of two things, the price level in the base year, times price level in the current year. Okay? Well, for simplicity, I'm going to go ahead and ignore these time scripts here. But I do want to keep it the base here there. Okay. So think about it. This is just one equation. I can manipulate it any way I want. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right here. I'm just going to go ahead and multiply by the price level. And so I'm going to end up with P times Y is equal to nominal GDP and the price level in the base here is 100, right? Well, if we go ahead and then divide by 100, and then we go ahead and end up with nominal GDP. Okay. Now, you might recall that our price level data is in terms of um, the, the value in the base here is 100, so we can actually just go ahead and ignore that part right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so what you have is nominal GDP is just P times Y, the price level times real GDP. So it turns out if you were going to calculate the growth rate of the price level and add it to the oops and add it to the growth of, of real GDP for relatively small changes like we normally see in the United States on a yearly basis, then the growth rate of the price level plus the growth rate of real GDP will equal the growth rate of nominal GDP. All right, and so that's the last video for, uh, for calculation of GDP.